Hey guys, it's Erin with Happily We Go for this week's Inspired by Challenge, week 10 already. We're going to start with the gessoed page and then I cut out some clouds and the hot air balloon with some sticky foam. Um, it's sticky on one side. So I put that down and then used some matte medium and all my little bits, my little punched out pieces from when I made my um, doodle challenge book. So I'm going to glue all those down and it's messy, be prepared. And then you're just going to keep going until you finish both pages with all the bits. And then dry. Then I'm going to add some distress stains. I'm going to put all the uh, colors I use down in the description box below, or you can check out my blog at uh, happilywego.com. And then using some of the dilution sprays, and then spritzing in between those colors with some water, you'll see, just to kind of get them running around all the little punched out pieces. And you just keep doing it until you decide you've got the color that you want. Then I'm adding some of the um, Dollar Rowney F and W liquid acrylics. These are some of the neons, the neon, or I think it's fluorescent. Sorry, the fluorescent blue and the fluorescent pink, which I'm obsessed with lately. I want to put them on everything that I do. Now I'm going back in with the Dilutions um, after midnight and just kind of dabbing it on with uh, the, the tube of the sprayer. <laughs> it works. Just trying to highlight certain areas and, uh, you know, kind of, I don't know, create some depth. And then back with the pink. Then I went in with some of the green, the fresh lime, I think it is, dilutions. But I'll tell you, I probably could have skipped this part because in a couple seconds here, I'll pick up um, the golden sleigh bells from Lindy's and put that on instead. Because, you know, it's got a little bit of sparkle, but I didn't like the green as much as I liked the yellow. See, here you go. Just trying to kind of pull those clouds with a pop of color. Then I cut, well I stamped and then cut some uh, of the hot air balloons from a Stampin' Up! set, which I can't remember the name, but I will link it below as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my black sharpie and color in the hot air balloon. I think I skipped some of this because you don't need to see it all, it's pretty boring. Bam, it's done. And then also what I didn't show is I went ahead and cut the white part around the die cut. It didn't, it left some of the white and I didn't like that, I just wanted the straight black. And now I'm gluing it on with some Art Glitter Glue, which is my favorite glue. It dries really fast and it holds really tight. And then I'm arranging and gluing down my sentiment, which I typed up on an old typewriter that my brother 
gave to my twins for Christmas, but I've kind of taken it over for myself. <laughs> Then I use the uh, white Unibal gel pen just to add the white behind the hot air balloon so it kind of matched the other ones. Now I tried to do this, I thought it would be great to kind of make these stamps but I didn't like the way it was going so I went ahead and grabbed the white impasto paint from Finnebar and now I'm just going to create a whole border around the page, sort of cloud-like and hit the camera in the process, sorry about that. I end up going around the whole border a second time. I didn't show this because it's, well, pretty boring and self-explanatory, but I just wanted the whites to be whiter so they looked more like clouds. The, um, all the paints from below kind of seeped through the white, so I did that to kind of make it stick out a little bit whiter. And of course dry between layers. So this is after that second coat I was telling you, and now I'm putting on some of the um, creme brulee cream from Lindy's. It just has a little bit of sparkle, a little shimmer, and I kind of wanted that in the clouds because I'm all about the sparkle. Then I take the Posca white pen and just went around the outside just to whiten up the edges, which in hindsight I probably didn't need to do because then I add a darker border in a little bit here. I just still wasn't happy with that, how white, lack of white it was rather. Now I'm out of frame, but I'll fix it here in a second. And I'm taking uh, Moon Glow. It's a watercolor paint. I believe it's Moon Glow um, from Daniel Smith. And I'm just putting it around the outside of the edge of the clouds there to kind of push the background back and bring the clouds forward to give it a little extra dimension. Then I'm just going over with a black fine point sharpie, brightening up the black of the sentiment, and then creating some designs. And my perfectionism came out and I just had to take the white gel pen and kind of go over some of the spots. fluorescent neon blue I think it's a paint marker I'm not sure by who but I'll link it below just to kind of give it so it blended better with the background and then a gray Faber-Castell uh, big brush marker just sort of blending to kind of make the sentiment pop up a little bit from the background
And because you can never have enough sparkle, I took a blue sparkly gel pen and just kind of went around the outside just to give it a little extra something something. And here I'm just taking a black big brush marker and just going around the edge just to kind of frame it a little bit, give it more of a finished look. that's it thank you guys so much for watching here's a couple of still shots of the layout I hope you'll join us in the inspi by challenge you can find out all that information on the blog www.happilywego.com thanks again